question for you. It's extreme. It's, it's That's extreme. too crazy. It's extreme. He's extreme and out of, out of oh, line. Chris. You know, and we, we we can chastise and we'll talk to Corey about this on the back end and, and whenever he comes back. I was waiting for him to come back so I can address him. Right well, Bistro, you said that I oh, came up here looking that. for a fight. Is that what you really think? Were you, well, first off, were you here from the beginning? <laughs> Yeah, he was here the whole time. I'm going to say this, right? Oh, he didn't want to answer. Y'all going to stop giving me in the same, in, that image. Every time I tried to speak. Hold on, they, said, they said both. He said the back end and on the front end when he came back. Thank you. He didn't just say the back end. No. Oh, Jesus. That's why I don't say no. Go ahead. Thank you. You, you cut me off every time I open my mouth. You can't dictate what I'm going to say out of my mouth. I don't owe you no explanation in life about what I say and what I do. Hold on, you hold don't on. run me. You don't own me. Ain't none one hold of you on. niggas going to check me. I don't hold see on. that shit. I, am I don't see care. I don't see none nigga you hold lay on. with. Hold on. Wait. I am, though. Like, the threatening, you ain't got to threaten her or call her a bitch. We talked about this already. You don't gotta call no women, no bitches, and, and threaten nobody. You don't. Like it's not, it's not, it's not necessary. As a man, you got daughters, so to be calling women bitches and threatening them, that's it's not cool, Corey. You know that. And, and, and that's how a woman carry herself, as she did. So, so I'm supposed right, to respect her you, as you a woman, like, but she, she carrying herself. I'm gonna say this: if you feel nope, like you all the women be around say, him, I would be cautious. And you have, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And I don't mind doing it. You get what I'm saying? But for you to for you to do it, it make me look bad because you're doing it in my space and you frequent this space. We talked about this last time, remember? I I, I understand what you said, but see, it's me. I ain't gonna hear. Yeah, they can't blame you. It's me. Cause if I feel like anybody come to me with any bullshit and I feel it's disrespectful. I'm gonna say what I feel. Hold on, y'all. This is the airline. She knew she was really. cutting me off. She okay, knew what Corey. She was doing. Corey. I'm Corey, asking you're right. I did. Oh, I'm sorry, Ken. Hold on. One. Corey, you're right. I did cut you off. But the reality of it is, the reason why I cut you off and the reason that you got upset is because I called you out on the fact that you couldn't answer the question. I asked a question, you went to respond, and it had nothing to do with the question that I was asked. I was pressing you about a specific question that you were not able to answer, and you got upset. And so, did yeah, I ever, you're did right, I get right, a chance you're right, to you're right, you're right, you're absolutely right, I did answer. cut you off. You did. did. You How? What did I say? Tell me what did I say. Let's see. You said yesterday in the live with Keys, and then I interrupted you because the, my question had nothing to do with the live with Keys. So how can I tell you what is bashing when I say yesterday in I the didn't live ask with you Keys? What oh was. no, no, yes you did. See now you now you changed well, the narrative. I asked you that in the comments. I asked you to define that in the comments. When no, I came no, on the no, panel, no, no, I did no, not no, say no, that on the no, panel. No. I said that in the Who's comments. The I asked no. you something different when I came up in the no. panel. You say so the part of the frustration right. is your mm -hmm. lack of. I think he was trying to say though that you didn't content. let him. I know, I know, but what he's saying is that you never let him finish the whole point he was making by cutting him off. I, I know. I'm just. I just. I'm trying to defuse it because it's happening all over again. I think you know, like yeah, you're not letting him make the point. Okay. Yeah, you L and say this. I think L and Edwin. I think that just the last I know, few seconds, I'm on, I'm on the Corey and I were able to talk it, back yeah, and yeah. forth without the interruption of the two of you. Hey, let me say this to you, sweetheart. There are other people. You're another the one who calls women bitches. Why? On Why? 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 So you're lying, and I'm not interested in hearing you either. To talk to Corey, I wasn't Corey even addressing wasn't even you. Up here when you uh, came up here, don't spill that lie. Okay, wait. Let me say this to you. I was There's listening. No chauvinistic bullshit right? going on. Corey in the came up. He made a statement. It's crazy. When he made the statement, I was finna address his statement because I understand what he's saying. Now you may not like me speaking. That's fine. But what you can do is swipe out, cut your app off. You don't have to hear me. But what you're not gonna do is silence me. I'm going to have the free reign to speak just like you on this panel. As a matter of fact, I think I'm kind of privileged because I sit in slightly. That's Irwin, no wonder. Although it ain't complete. Corey, that's I understand great. what you're saying. That's Let great. me say this that's to you, Corey. Great. I understand what you're saying, Corey. 
what you're saying is you don't necessarily feel that you have to give the respect to people that are disrespectful, regardless of their gender. You felt like you were trying to explain your point and you were using a live stream to explain it. She did not want to hear it from that perspective. That's her choice, but she cannot silence how you're going to explain your narrative. And that's what happened. When you got ready to explain it, she cut you off because she didn't want to hear it. That is her prerogative. You don't speak for me and what I understood or what I wanted to hear. Thank that's you. That's an opinion, ma'am. Corey, it's, I just, Corey, 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 he's speaking Corey, directly to me. Corey, 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 I have, I just got one question. I agree. I got one question. We know Sunset can come off aggressive. So I'm a, I'm a grade you on a curve with that one. But why was a Ma Mariah called a bitch when we know Mariah don't even cuss? Mariah is heartbreaker Ma. Heartbreaker been pushing the narrative that T is behind troll pages. And you want to see the screenshot of her being a Ma? Is that why he called her? But oh, okay. That you don't wanna, you justify. See, you, you see what you see? The hold on, hold on. You you ask me a question. I'm telling you the correlation to what is going on. She came up in here that hold night on, when 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 uh when when. when not, because I can't type it. Hey, Jville. Yes, I've been okay. I am um, out of town right now. My grandma is ill. So thank you for asking me. Um, on my way to Mississippi right now. So thank you. She um, came up in here that night when Nadi was up here in the panel talking. She then sat up here for a second, then jumped in, won a question T about troll pages. We were not having a discussion about troll pages. But I, where did she get that narrative? Hold on, hold on. You asking me a question, to... and I'm answering. Where do you think she got that that narrative from? Oh, T is behind these troll pages. T, you know who these troll pages okay. are. I think you know. The way you moved your hand, the way you did this. Shut the fuck up. Hold on, Corey. Hold on with that bullshit. Corey. Why do they come here with the bullshit and then don't want the response? But what we're trying to say to you, she not oh, it ain't nothing to say. Tell these dumbass broads to ho, stop ho, ho, with ho, the bullshit ho, ho, ho. and you this won't get no Come on, man. You cannot, you cannot justify what she did. And you you're, wanted to be the justice warrior to try to speak up for somebody that came with some malicious intent. You're, the but you you got to remember two things. Two things, Corey. One, Mariah no, is a female. Mariah is a female. A male is not supposed to be cussing out a female. Two is okay. T's platform. Let T handle her business. Keanu. Okay, Corey, let me Keanu. say this. <clears throat> Number one. Let me say something to Kiana real quick. Yeah. Kiana, what if you listen to if you listen to what he just said, he said she came over here trolling. This entire conversation started because he said he was trolling. She could have stayed in a box and did it. She could have stayed down there. Mind your business okay, but you keep moving the goalposts, Corey. We was having a conversation with Navi about Please. the whole situation of that girl getting up in the panel saying she know this man. He broke. He did that in the third. She came up here about something totally goddamn different. Oh, but y'all don't understand that. That's what being that to do with him. Corey, it's I just different. need you to understand. Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? If we're going to go by that logic with the female male thing, and even if we use, use what Kev said, men should address me and women should address men, that would mean we we can't address each other. That means women, y'all can't address these men. Men don't address these women. Do y'all? How do y'all think that's going to work? In support of another woman, you bet your sweet ass I'm going to address a man. Huh? you going to address a man, right? In, in support, so how, hold on, in support right, of another woman. But I get it. I get it. That's all I'm saying. I think at any point, though, when it becomes disrespectful, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. we have to be as a way to address each other. No, let me finish. We all going to address each other. We can't, we can't, we cannot escape addressing each other. We have to figure out the decorum in addressing each other. We have to figure out how to coexist. I just said to go. In the same spaces, still having a conversation with each other respectfully on both ends so like we have to figure out how to do that 
And that starts with everybody respecting people's name. If my name is L, it shouldn't be any other thing called out of that name. That's what I'm Just saying. Just like his guys, name is Corey, we should, and we have to all respect that. And we can't get to a point where we then say, "Oh, I was upset. Let me apologize." We should just respect people and keep the boundaries right there. Like if you're that heated, pull down for a moment, but that's not disrespect. And that's coming from a man to a woman. It should be coming from women to men. We should all be lifting each other up and having an actual conversation. But when that disrespect starts, it's when everybody loses themselves because it's, it's so easily started because somebody don't like to hear what they hear. But that's what the platform is about, us conversing with one Tiffany another and hearing one Turkle. another's opinion Tiffany, and moving uh, forward. Tiffany. It's the attack and the disrespect is why it gets to this level. And I didn't want Corey to have to call out her name. I didn't want him to have to get to that level because yeah, I like to hear people express good. themselves without getting to that level because actually he was doing just that before he got to that level. And that's what I'm here for because I think he can do that without getting to that level, but we have to all do that. Let's all respect one another. The women should respect the men. We should not call men out of their names, no matter what sign you got, what thing you heard, because there's a lot of women giving a lot of masculine energy too, but we refrain from saying that because we want a strong woman, right? So you can't see your men catering to you and loving you and allow you to speak in a certain way. And then you say, oh, that's sassy. No, why isn't that loving and caring towards you? So let's find a way to just respect each other. And if we're not going to do that, I think we shouldn't be on the platform because you're not here for what we're here for. Amen. Exactly. That's exactly what I was saying. I mean, at the end. Oh my God. See, I ain't going to lie, Keona. They pissing me off. They are pissing me off. Hop up in that box. I'll drop down so you can go over there. I ain't, if I go over there, I'm going to have all, they all going to be crying. I'm going to tell everybody over there. Because they sound like a bunch no, of. But I, I listen. Hmm. I, I can't, I can't, I can't address what I really want to say in that manner. Well, uh, but yeah, I, I, nah, nah, nah. Because I, I, I'm not gonna do it. I got, I got, I got something. That, I got something that will do it. That, that's the whole thing. I, I got somebody that will do it. Well, well, we that's the about whole thing. Before, and why would you put another woman in that situation? Hey, because I can't put my hands on it. I, I ain't gonna but lie. He's just trying to put his hands on the woman. Yeah, yeah, we do need to talk about it because yeah, he got triggered, and we need to find out how can he get triggered that easily by certain words. Because at the end of the day, clearly you more advanced in that. You know what I mean? That you don't have to allow those certain words to trigger because you. Because that's who he that's is. What it was. And once we can get to say, yeah, she triggered me. Yeah, she she made me feel a certain type of way that I responded that way, and I regret doing that because. That's what it's all about. You don't like, regret uh, doing it if you're going to keep doing it's it. It's not going to happen. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Where we respect one another and allow each other to speak and vent and, you know, say what we feel without disrespecting each other. Because I really don't like platforms where there's going to be disrespect because then where do we get to the, the point? You know what I mean? Like, why if we can all get up and just disrespect one another and just do that. That's what we're doing right now. That's I'm right not going to be... Exactly. Let me say something. Yeah, I'm not going to be oblivious. I think Sunset... I think Sunset is an awesome person, too. Sunset is passionate. That's what I think. It's straight passion because even when we get this deep, she comes back and starts to apologize and say, I did over talk. So we're getting somewhere, but we got to continue to love on each other and remember those boundaries. Let's teach each other those things because we, we don't get taught that as we grow up. You know, we all kind of look alike. So we got to remind ourselves that boundaries do exist and we're the only one that can set them. You can't, you can't take a card. I'll focus on it. Okay, um, can I say this? Again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a girl's girl, but I do understand there are women who can trigger you a me. Girl's girl. I'm a girl's girl, goddammit. Um, Ain't none of y'all no girl's girl on this don't, don't start that shit tonight. The only way y'all girl's girls is when y'all ain't, when y'all mad at each other, y'all don't get to doing the shit that y'all do. T, I'm not y'all doing this shit with you tonight. I'm, serious, I'm not I doing this with you tonight. I can, I can boldly admit I am not. I mean, I ain't no girl. I'm not gonna lie and say I am, but I'm just saying, we gotta stop saying, I think, I think the I don't know about the girls, I, I, girl. Listen, the def to me the definition of a girls girl is a, is a female that will take up for another woman, right, but wrong, you can drag her when you want to. I mean, that come with the territory. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
I mean, I understand what she's saying because Kiana and I have gone at it. We've gone at it on this platform, right? But at the end of the day, you know, it's if somebody's lying on you or it is just it's just outrageous. It's a different situation. It's like it's kind it's kind of like one of those things like. You can, you you can't talk shit about my sister, but I can. It, right. it tur- you know what I mean? It no, becomes, that's you know, not a girl's girl. That is a girl's I'm, girl. I'm fine. I'm fine with that not being a definition. To me, a that's girl. a girl. Cause like, like Can I tell I ask people. You, Tiana, question. What? No, so said, okay. Is it okay for men to defend a man? So Absolutely. You guys are Absolutely. I'm just asking. I mean, is it is it equality in that? Can a man come up and say? All right, you're getting drugged, and then he comes to his defense because he's getting drugged or criticized, and tell him to back down. Like you were saying, I would guys, say as long as that man ain't coming to the scene yeah. with bees, y'all hoes this, y'all bees, and he's like, hold up, ladies, hold up, ladies. Now listen, I don't want this man to feel triggered. I don't want this man to go off on y'all, possibly hit one of y'all, call one of y'all child name. So you know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm coming to his defense. I see where he coming from. Yada yada yada. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's but I'm, what I'm saying is, I, I'm a girl's girl in the understanding that I'm gonna take up for females. But I also understand there are females, and I'm one of them that can trigger me with my mouth. Okay, I got a mouthpiece on me, and it is triggering to to, to a certain type of man. But what is it, Corey, that would make someone again like Mariah? Yeah, she might have been trolling, but. Why she had to be all, and you know we had it out on Diamonds Live. Why she had to be all those bees over something that wasn't even that serious, though. So it's like, to me, we can't even say that you got I, I, I triggered. Don't see it serious, though. Because I it's not see, serious. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me ask you a question, right? Have people ever gone to other people's page and made threats about other people that they defend before? How you don't see it's a threat when she carrying narrative? When people go and start making threats against other people, it's because you're doing stuff like this. When are y'all women going to stop doing that bullshit? Y'all won't get the reaction from a man like me if y'all stop doing bullshit. I shouldn't have had to say, T, answer her question. And she kept going with it. But why did you get in it and not T check her? But who has been the only person on this app saying, T know who these troll pages is, uh, these blogger pages is. T is this person. T is, that been one person. So everybody gonna carry that narrative. But we all troll, Corey. We all troll. We all troll, Corey. It's it's it come with the territory. That ain't equal to him, Paul. But Corey, I'm sorry. Do you have my privileges over here? Do you have my privileges? I'm an ugly ass nigga that y'all see. I make a video every now and then. Y'all see my face. I'm not hiding behind that. But okay, Corey. Know. Do yeah. you have my Q- privileges Q- over here? You don't have my well, privileges I don't over have here. My privileges nowhere. Okay, because I was like, why y'all just couldn't block her? Why she had to be every be under the sun? That's the, not my mind. I'm, I was just wondering. I don't know. No, it's not my mind. Okay, cool. Um. Because I don't block people over here, but she did not. I, I checked him for calling her a bitch too. I told him, let me handle it. If I feel like it's a problem, I'll take up for myself. So I, I checked him about that too. Like, don't don't check her. I I'll fight for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't need him to check Mariah. I could check Mariah. Um. So, but I wasn't gonna block Mariah. Well, I'm just saying, like, mute out the lie. Whatever it was no, that... No, I, I didn't see a problem. With, Car, Car, Carrie felt like it was a problem because she was trolling. But Mariah is a troll. We all troll. I can handle myself. And a lot of people are... And I'm not making excuses because it's not an excuse. But a lot of people are more protective now without my permission. Even my mom, everybody, because of what I've been through this last couple months. But I keep telling y'all, y'all don't got to fight for me. I got this. You say that a lot. You actually say that a lot, T. And that's why I was they're, like, they're, they're not listening to me anymore. They're not listening. Corey. Uh, then they're not supporters. I, don't know yeah, y'all pretty good. I, well, I was not protected. I was not protected. I was irritated. When you irritate right. me, I'm going to snap. That's just what it is. I ain't got to be honest with you. I'm going to disrespect you because I want you I to, did, I I want did, you to I'm feel not disrespected. Lie. I'm not going to lie. There, there's definitely pick and choose. Like, Kari was wrong. But I just witnessed the same shit happen this morning. 
If I call Corey a I bitch, I would be dead ass this wrong. Morning, like with another man. Two men. Like, I'm witnessing this happen across the board. You, you know what I'm saying? Same. But if we're going to stand on business, stand on business all across the board. Don't pick and choose because you like somebody that's a man. It's funny when he gets to disrespect women. Because I, I don't think it's funny. Hold on. Tell the truth and shame to Derek. Corey, you and I had never had it out. We had not ever, I just, I was like, if I'm, because again, if a woman like me, if somebody had said another type of Kiana, Corey cussed them out, I'd be like, what the hell they do to Corey to get their ass cussed out? But when it came to Mariah, I was like, I want to see the footage. And when I saw it, I snapped because I was like, ain't no way. And it was, and I, I, I again, I, me and Mariah didn't get along or don't, you know what I'm saying? But me and Corey had never had it out. I just don't like that shit. I don't yeah, like that wrong. shit. I don't like that. Yeah, when men what, cuss women out like that, I'm so, provoked. So, hold on, hold on. Ma Mariah, hold on. Mariah was the first person to ever call a bitch. No, I mean, listen. You know that ain't true. Some of them have provoked you. You didn't hear what I said? Unprovoked. I said unprovoked. I said unprovoked. I, what did, I, did you not hear any of what I said? I said some of us can provoke y'all. But when you do that shit unprovoked, that's a serious issue, Corey. What say you, Babs? Uh, why, 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 they said I can't come outside. Why well, play the guy for guy, good for very cool, and just hold somebody accountable? Wrong is wrong, right is right. Why, why they just do it? Ain't that what we doing? No, like, didn't, like, let me let me ask y'all what this accountability look like. We told Corey he was wrong. Right. We told him it's, it's not acceptable. So what else do y'all want us to do now? Like, we told him, you wrong. Absolutely. I'm going to drop down, Keanu, because these right. motherfuckers sure. pissing me off. Would y'all like to see us do? Because I'm not dropping them. I'm not blocking. I don't drop, I don't drop the women that disrespect each other. I don't drop the men that disrespect each other. I don't drop people for that. I don't drop people that disrespect me. Motherfuckers here call me all kind of bitches, and I don't drop them. So I'm okay. not going to change my rules. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to keep correcting him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not dropping them. So what do you want me to do? What else does accountability look like? This fake-ass accountability is is baffling to me. Because if I sit here and I say, Kari is not acceptable, when he said it, I was like, Kari, no. But it's Corey. Not I wasn't in agreement with it. I wasn't in alignment with it. I didn't respect it. But what else do y'all want to see happen? P, I got a question for you. Why would anybody change the behavior? I'll let people disrespect me and still come back to my platform. Do I not? No, you're right. I'm asking that question. Do I not? No, you do. You do. But in terms of the definition of accountability, I just, for me, and I could be wrong, but for me, Thank accountability, you. I can, I'm the only one who can be accountable for what I do and say. So for me, I have to be accountable for the fact, yes, I did cut him off. Yes, I did call him out his name after he called me out mine. Yes, I did talk about his child. I did all of that. I, I stand on, I did all of that. Exactly, Blaine. But I don't feel like anybody else could make me accountable for that. I have to be the one to be accountable for that. And and what I'm saying is this. All right. I this is what I'm saying. Um, I feel like if y'all, y'all stand on business, stand on business. If y'all don't like what Corey do, block him. Stand on business. But the problem is y'all can't stand on business, yet you want somebody else to stand on business that you can't stand on. Block that nigga. And if you see him in my panel and you don't respect it, relieve the platform. Hold me. Stand on business with me, too. But the problem is y'all can't stand on business either. Okay. Well, you know, me personally, no, I think I'm that... I'm saying if you don't like something, right? This right. is what I'm saying. Right. If you say, I don't like this, he's wrong, I'm gonna... You do what you need to do for you. But y'all not gonna exactly. tell me what to do on my platform. Do what you need to do for you. Y'all talking about now it's on us. Yes, it's on an individual to handle a person the way they need to handle them. Yes, it's on you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that what happened on the panel, though, was enough accountability for what happened on the panel. 
I think what we just did, the the responding to the action that he had was more than enough. And I think, like you said, anything further would be for that person that felt disrespected or was disrespected to continue on their journey of blocking him. But here on this panel, I think that should be done with, right? Actually, I think we did that already. I guess I'm a different type of beast because there ain't a ninja out there on this planet that I would let help sink my ship. Like... I think, t and hear me out, T. I think you're saying yeah. that facetiously because you no, no. do, I'm hear me out, because yeah. I do believe that you feel like these some bitches is not going to, you know, stand on business and say, hey, in, in, in T's platform, a man can threaten physical violence against a no. woman. I don't think a man should be able to threaten violence. I already told yes, you, you do, because you allow it on your platform. You can't tell me what I do. Okay, whatever. You can't tell me what I do. Like I, like I said, she, I, I, she knew what I was going to say out of my mouth. Right. What, I, I she say say shit. what she's saying mouth. is, y'all leave. He ain't going no goddamn well. And that is a lie. I didn't say that. I said nobody. Hold on. No, stop that one. I said nobody. He's not special. I can see if I said, he, I'm going to keep him right beside me and everybody else come. I've been threatening on my own fucking platform. This is, this is my platform. It's my business. When I decide to block people, you really, really take me there. And I set a boundary for myself. So at the end of the day, like I said, motherfuckers, it's people up here right now. It's 1.2K people here. A thousand of them don't fuck me, fuck with me. But they still can't stand on business and still keep coming back. What I'm saying is this. Protect your own peace. Protect your own peace. I get blamed for everything. I get blamed if a woman says, say something to a woman. I got blamed for a woman doxing herself on my platform. Any, any no matter what, people gonna blame me for whatever. I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna keep putting myself in a box for everybody else that feel like I don't like this. So T, now you should change this. No, check. I don't. I'm not sinking my. I'm not sinking my own platform. I'm. I'm. I'm cleaning my house. So if you don't like the way I run my space, leave. And that's for anybody. This is how I've been running my space. I'm not going to change running my space because somebody somebody else feel like, T, you should do it different. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not mean, missing the point. Like I said, I get disrespected on it. I'm not missing the point. Like right, I said, I get... um, I'm going to do exactly what she asked me to do. I'm going to get the hell out because that's, that's crazy. I mean, like I said, if they were... Thank you. Y'all support my live goal. If they were going blow for blow, cuss out for cuss out, that's one thing. But, and I don't, like I said, I don't even like taking up for Sunset because me and her done had it fucked out. But when he, y'all saying he's saying he's going to beat her up and this and the third, like, nah, just get your homegirl, your sister, your baby mama, somebody with her ass. Don't be. I don't understand. OJ be talking. I'm that sorry. They were pissing me off, Keona. It was a lot of, uh, that was a shit show. And again, I sat there and watched T didn't say not one word while he was sitting there saying he wanted to slap that woman. And then you trying to tell me uh, you already had this conversation with him, but you let him back on the platform and he did the same exact that's, thing that's you, you had the conversation with him that's about. The so point. that shows if the lack of respect that, that he had for you. With him and say, Corey, I'm not letting you up in no box, man. Or you can't even come in my room. Because, man, you be calling these women bitches. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let them call you no bitch. The first woman call you a bitch, she getting blocked up out of there. You know what I'm saying? When they are, when y'all going back and forth, boom. But, Corey, you being a man, I can't let you do that. But he, he see that, oh, I can call Mariah a bitch when she just in here trolling. You know what I'm saying? She ain't even aggressive or nothing. She just in here saying, hmm. Who's behind so and so? Bitch, get the, the fuck reason? out of here with that dumb ass shit, ho. Then, guess what? The next thing is, I beat your ass. And the next thing is, uh, you know, what, what's next? Again, what's fucking next? He's saying he only said something to Mariah because she was in there trolling, repeating what HB said. Why does that give you the right to call her a B word? Exactly. Thank you. It didn't even have <laughs> nothing to do with you. She was trolling T. So what? Is and that's, that's, exact, why and that's exactly women? why people come for that girl platform because of shit like that. Exactly. That's why they come for her and shit. You, and you already, she admitted to having this conversation with him. So again, he shouldn't be on your platform doing that shit. But yet he find it real comfortable to do so. And again, yes. as a man, all the women that's listening, 
If a man talk to you like that, that means he'll talk to any woman like that. That ain't the first woman he probably said he put his oh, hands on. Had he be been in some he space, he'd have hit her. He'd have hit her. I know. And you can't convince me otherwise. And then the other the other men in there, dude came in there, what was his name? Bistro or whatever. He going to call this woman angry. What the hell? Is she supposed to be happy that this man threatened her? Like I said, there are women, I'm one of them, that can trigger men. Sunset is definitely one of them. So if someone has said Corey and Sunset was at, having a, 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 a match, I guarantee you they would have been both calling each other bitch, 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 bitch. But the minute is I'll beat your ass from a woman, from a man to a woman, I'll bet her off. I'll bet her off. So if a man, that's the first thing, if a man screams that to you, that means he ain't got no problem hitting women. Because first of all, if a man arguing with you and, and he don't put his hands on women, that thought would never cross his fucking mind to come out of his mouth. Yep. Okay. That dude, yeah, I already yeah. knew. No, I can tell by the way he yeah. speak, the way he, he's mad disrespectful to women. He'll find any reason. I, it seemed like anything would trigger him because, again, when he said the shit to Mariah, according to him, it didn't even have shit to do with him. And that's why I specifically brought up Mariah, because again, I knew the narrative was going to be painted. So what Sunset did to him, because again, we know Sunset can be aggressive, but he, let's talk about the non-aggressive, non-cursing Mariah. And that girl got cussed out like a fucking dog. I had Mariah oh. do some crazy shit to me, right? I ain't never call her out her name. Never. Mariah and done some this, of the foulest shit man throw the first bitch, because, you know, some of us women, like I said, I, I have to throw my hat in the ring. Some of us women will holler bitch in a minute to argue with a man. If a man throw the first bitch, guess what? He supposed to be kicked out that room. And my thing is this. Uh, just This is just me. I don't even need to show that type of aggression. First of all, if you out here calling women bees with no fucking problem, that means you should be evaluating your motherfucking self. Right. And she need to be kicked out if she called him the first bitch too. So, I mean, once it get to either of them calling each other a bitch, it should be, I think the platform should be, listen, not on this page. You know but what I'm to saying? To me, I can you get can't that. Come over here. Now, but when when it's go to physical assault, that's a whole new level. That's a whole new level. It's a new, you are open, you don't unlock a whole nother character. Right there, when you talk and about it, and T not, and, and T, I mean, I don't get T. That's my girl, and I said I'll never go against her. But my again, I'm a girl's girl. But how do you not keep hearing these people say T take up for men, T take up for men, 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 T find a way to take up for men, and you blatantly let this man, you know what I'm saying? Say, bitch, I beat your ass. I will come down there and beat. You. Oh my God, T. She lo she definitely lost me when she said I had this conversation with him already. She lost me, but then you let him back up. That's the same thing with Slim. It's the same thing over and over thing. and over. It's the same thing. I, I don't get I, it. I watch it from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed on this fucking app. I, I watch y'all let these men sit in a room full of black women and call them all types of crap. Yeah. Say the most disgusting shit to them, and y'all be okay with because it, it ain't just Corey. Let's talk about uh Hoover. Oh, another yeah. motherfucker that disrespect women. He's horrible. Slim, another. Yeah. We, the, the the list just goes on and on, but y'all keep these men around. I'm oh well, I forgot Slim mentioned the baby called the baby those names. I was about to say I think Hoover worse than goddamn Slim, and you know me and Slim not had it. Ow, ow. Mm -hmm. But Hoover, man, like the, the stuff, the, yeah, the stuff he said to me, the stuff he said to Drop Queen, it's like, thank you for the gifts. It's like, what the fuck? Like him and like he don't know me, so I can see, you know, well, I can't, but I, you know, I'm, a, I'm gonna put on a curve. Um, the vitriol you got for me, but Drop sat in the box next to you, y'all laughed, y'all kiki, y'all this, y'all that, and now that y'all are beefing, you say some of the most horrific things about that lady. I'm gonna tell and you that's why. some bullshit. I'm gonna tell you why. At the end of the day, a lot of those men, like like Corey and uh, Hoover, they resent women. Yeah. Because they can't get the women that they want. Yeah. 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 I agree. I think that's what really go down. They get they get 
triggered by the fact that women be turning them down. They got to do this. They got to do that to get a woman. And then they just be like, y'all women this and y'all women do it. Yep, don't take that on me. All, all women. It is not my fault. That's why it's so up. easy and they get so triggered real quickly by women. Yeah. I, I'm just shocked with T, man. I'm, I mean, because I ride for it T. Don't, it don't shock me. I, I'm sorry. God it, it damn, T. They sit there and let some man, grown ass man, talk about he want to slap this woman on your platform. That's a reflection of you, T. Exactly. Especially when she say, if y'all don't like it, go somewhere else. Like, what? I ain't even going to hold you. Once The last time I went to T platform was the last time I went the fuck over there. I, don't, I ain't got time for that. Y'all out, out here spreading a dangerous ass message. Blaze, you know I rock with you the long way. But the day you sit in that box and you tell any female, even a female I don't like, I'm going to beat your ass. Blaze, get the fuck out of this room. It's not, mm, 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 mm. I'll, talk, I'll call you, my I'll call you later. But for right now, you got to go because this ain't going to work. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't work. I, I I know she like loves Corey, you know what I mean? Or whatever the case may be. Because when you sit in these rooms together, uh, you know, for weeks and months and years or whatever, but don't let nobody sink your ship. And I know she believed that it can't happen. She believes, I, I don't have to check Corey. It's not going to affect my bottom line. Because guess what? These motherfuckers is not going to stand on business. But one day, one of these days, that's going to be the one thing that people say, I unfollowed, I unsubscribed, I, you know what I mean? I don't, I'm, I don't come to your room because you. I don't know if you're going to let that man threaten my life. I don't know if you're going to let that man, you know what I'm saying, cuss me out like a dog. So I don't go in there. And then when, it, when you, you know what I'm saying, when you ain't got the monies from the supporters no more, then you're going to be like, oh, shit, I should have listened. But right now she just really believed, like, because she, because because of us, because of us, you teach people how to do business with you. We have taught T, we will be okay. Because we've, we've, uh, we've allowed people who did worse than Corey and we've not only went in spaces that they were in, but we went in their spaces, right? Slim motion just really started stopping, but for the longest time, you know what I'm saying? Yo, but what, what's next? That crap. They still what's next? What, crap. Okay, so what's next? Corey gonna gonna cuss out a child, call a child a b? Is that is that what she gonna say? Well, okay, Corey, no. Is that what gonna be the drawing line? Cause that's what seemed like it, it stopped. Slim row row boat. His little boat on roll, roll, roll after he said that about that child. Because everybody was in unison. You fucked up now. You done fucked up now. So is it gonna, is that what it's going to take for T to say to Corey? You done if fucked that's up the case, you can't come back hold you, Keona. That's sad. And, that, and that, that reinforces that black women are the most unprotected women across the fucking board. And we, but we got to learn to protect each other. Hey, dog. Hey, bro, co. Yeah, we got to learn to protect each other. Like I said, me and son said, oh, Lord, we have had it out big time. But I just I, I, I just can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I, I I just can't do that. I was I was always that girl. If you meet a guy and he's like, yeah, I got a girlfriend, but she getting on my nerve. I'm, what you do? I don't want to hear nothing about what she did. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, oh, you need to get rid of her. You can do better than her. You can just, no, no, no. Figure some other type of way to try to uh, get my number, sir. Because talking about your girl is going to piss me off. It's just going to really piss me off talking bad about her. That is not, not the flex. I know one thing. If a man is willing enough to tell a woman that he don't even know that he will put his hands on her, imagine what he tell the women that he do know. Oh, his, yeah. his girlfriend. And that's what he don't understand. God forbid, Corey can't even shake a woman and get mess around and get in some trouble. That lady got a gazillion examples on these blogs where Corey done doggone threatened, cussed out with. All they got to do is play one of these tapes. Thank you for joining my team. They're going to they gonna run his ass up the flagpole. I tell you what, Corey, you need to take a break from out that truck. Because usually, like I said, truck drivers, they... People don't realize how hard that fucking job is. You you alone by yourself, damn near every fucking day. And don't road. get me wrong, trucker women are rough and tough with their Afro puffs type women, mm -hmm. and they don't like to be coddled and all this stuff. So he may be used to 
a, a certain demographic of women, you know what I'm saying? Rough and tough women. And he just done got complacent with like, hey, you know what I'm saying? The, the women I work with every day would be on the CB talking shit, da 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 da. Well, let's be honest here. Truck drivers, I ain't gonna say all of them, but most of them deal with sex workers, right? That's true. Well, at the end of the day, they don't, <laughs> and we all know you don't pay a sex worker to have sex with you, pay her to leave. To leave. <laughs> and that's how he treats his women. Yeah. I hate that for I hate that for T. I hate that for Corey because I like I said I like their platform, but that that right there ain't cool, T. Like that's not cool. I, I, I wasn't I feeling was, it at all. Him threatening I her, I ain't no excuse for that, bro. I don't care. To me, and again, she he she never threatened you with violence, but you sitting here threatening a woman with violence, saying you want to slap her, put your hands on her as a grown ass man. There, I, there ain't no excuse for that. I don't care what she did. I think Corey should be, thank you for joining my team. I think Corey should be T times bodyguard or protector when it, when men come in there thinking they gonna loud talk her, you know, talk over her and do I, then he should be like, oh, oh, oh it, it don't work like that over here, buddy. You know what I'm saying? That's, thank you for the gifts. That's what I would have felt like a core, but I think he should be like, you can handle these women if you want to ignore them and let them disrespect. Thank you. Thank you, Rocky Taylor. If you want to let them disrespect you, then that's on you. But I'm it addressing wasn't even just on him. The way the other men were talking, the dude, Irwin, keep calling that woman sweetheart and all. And then the other dude talking about she was mad. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? But they only doing that because they are listening. They're watching T's body language and listening to T say, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm not. <laughs> I ain't into it. This shit is weird. This man just literally threatened this woman. You going to talk about she sounds angry. What the fuck is she supposed to sound like? Why are y'all trying to downplay her while y'all trying to tell this man, well, you triggered him? Right. But don't get me wrong. Women, ladies, just tell the truth and shame the devil. Mm -hmm. There's been some women who've triggered you in your life. They can trigger me all they want, but they I would never think about putting my hands on them or threatening them. I'm just not what about, what about name cross my mind. What about name caller? I have I don't name call. I mean I talk some shit, but I'm not calling you out your name. It's just a threshold, especially after being on this app and seeing the way black women are treated on a daily basis. I had to draw back from even talking shit. Because it's not even a good look at the end of the day. I salute you because it's hard and I, I, I think because I am, I'm a, this is my saying at the end of the day, y'all are still black women. Amen. We got to protect y'all. That's what men, that's what us black men are supposed to be here for. But instead of these motherfuckers trying to protect y'all, they the fucking problem. Yeah, if we can duplicate you out there, we have we be we be we be with grease now. Yeah. We can get you duplicated out there. <laughs> well, your mom and dad. <laughs> they ain't it. They ain't it. How you Tell doing, them we man? need some more blazes, cause woo. Hey, um, Van. How you People doing? ask me how I do I... it all the time. I listen. This is just who I am. I always been this way. I've been. Ra I've ra I was raised with all girls. I only had two brothers. Okay. I was always protective over them. I mean, like I say, I, I raised my son to be the way you are. I, I couldn't imagine my son calling anybody. I tell uh when Tony hear your voice, he'll be like, that's the one you said remind you of Tuffy. My son ain't Tuffy. And I'm like, yeah, so you know, don't get me wrong. I raised mine to like, listen, if if you need if a chick cussing you out, you got a crazy hood mama over him. And and if I ain't around, you know what I'm saying? You got some hood aunties, but don't you do it yourself. Don't you dare, you know? And so, he, matter of fact, we had a situation where he wound up telling the girl, I'm not in love with you anymore. And it, 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 it he was like, I know, Ma, I know, I know, I know. I said, don't ever try to break a woman. Don't you ever try to break her. You tell her we need some time, some space or whatever. I'm, 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 I don't feel like we should be in a relationship with all that. I ain't in love with you and you ain't my type and all that trying to break her down. Don't you never in your fucking life let me hear you say her. And I ain't like the chick. I, I didn't like her. And I seen some things that she did to my son trying to play him. But again, that's not your job to try to break her. She'll break her damn self. You know what I'm saying? So... I raise my son to behave like how you are behaving, but I do, I'm a realist and I know 
that's not the average black man. Mm-hmm. I hate to say it, but that's not the average black man. What's what's going on, Van Life? I was in the the live just a few minutes ago, and what I find out to be a couple of days ago, it was a live about another man dogging his baby mama. Corey gave him all these um, phrases. Yeah, he gave him phrases. Sense. He gave him he sense. gave him counseling and saying, what? "Well, she's hurt. She's this." That's what I was trying to get up and like, dude, you just got through preaching to somebody about treating a woman, and here you are treating a woman the way he was treating his baby mama. That is so hypocritical. And at the end of the day, it's just one of those things that it's bias. It's right. really bias. And re, and I have 10 brothers. I have Ooh. nine uncles. I have, you know, a son. You pretend. And, and I got 29 nieces and nephews. But I always raise my son to respect women, walk away no matter what Uh just walk away now if it's life-threatening protect yourself and walk away or run but at the end of the day you know you i guess he's so much involved in that particular platform this bullshit this bullshit i agree with that and i believe you know even though and i thank you and i commend you for standing up for the young lady because that's what we need to do as women but it's not being done it's like well if you don't like it you can leave you know and i'm like dude i don't like stuff like that because if you will turn on one woman how many other women you will turn on yeah, you I'm shocked I mean? with T. I'm I'm so shocked with T for doing that shit. I'm like T, you like y'all, if you don't like but, it, get out. Like what? But you know, the more you point one finger, you got twenty, thirty pointing back at you. I mm. believe that everybody can agree to disagree, mm. but at the end of the day, people need to reflect back and pay it forward if you have daughters which you want the man or the boyfriend that your daughter is seeing to act the way you're acting so just be mindful if you gonna whoop somebody's butt because they disrespected your daughter your mother your cousin your auntie whomever just be mindful other people have other people like that as well Right. So, I mean, we can agree to disagree and walk away, respect and move on. But you have to also remember that people come from a lot of aggression. They need, they have triggers and their triggers are so easy to be triggered. They need discipline. That's why I brought up the Mariah because I'm like I said, I'm no fool. I know a strong woman can trick a, I ain't gonna say a strong woman, I'm gonna say an aggressive woman or a disrespectful woman. Thank you for the gifts. Can trigger certain men. Blaze is one of those men who is in full control of his faculty, but we've all just agreed that Blaze is not your typical man walking around the earth. But okay? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real on this too. I'm a merchant marine. So I have muscles and everything else. When I walk, men are inferior of me and feel a certain kind of way, but I hold my own. But when you get to- Men are intimidated or inferior? Yeah, no, intimidated. Oh, I was like, Why? Intimidated by me because I hold my own. Right. And when you hold your own, People get intimidated by people all the time. However, that is not a person's problem. That is the other person's problem. That's a self-esteem issue. Nine times out of 10, I will bow gracefully to let them know I am a good person. Right. But at the end of the day, you know, I had a man walk up to me in the store and I turned around because it looked like he was going to hit me. And I turned around and I bucked up. And he looked, he said, you're scary. And I said, oh, okay, that's cool. And he was like, you have a lot of muscles. And I told him, yeah. 
I work out a lot, but I told him, I said, I'm sweet as pie. He said, oh, your husband told you that? And then I said, no, I'm a pastry chef. Everybody tells me that. And then he was like, oh, okay. People's perception and the way they purview and their, the way they look at things right. can be totally imbalanced. However, you can talk to a person and then their perception can change. Yeah. However, it happens it's, with me a lot. And, and that's what I'm saying. So it's just, I believe sometimes when people have triggers, because I've worked with 5150s in lockdown facilities, and I also used to be a bounty hunter. The thing is, Damn, people, girl. I, I live in Watts, I live in Compton, I live in California. Ooh. So with that being said, it's like, you look and you can profile people. Sometimes you can be, majority of the time you can be right, but then majority of the time you can be wrong. However, with that being said, trauma happens through childhood. Trauma happens through young adult. Trauma just happens, period. Right. At the end of the day, when you don't face up to the trauma, then people who talk, act, look, or even perceive to be imaginable to another person, that can be their trigger. Right. So it's really not the person, it's the person that was in the person that perceives to look like the person. I can go deeper than that. It's just a point of that that happened, you can look at the damage that somebody done done to him and it just brought him out. And but that's what just, I was hoping he was going to get around to because I'm like, Corey, come on now. What the no, fuck? the thing is, somebody done cut him off a lot. So it Say either that again, Ms. Van. Somebody, again, that's, yes. somebody done cut him off that he loved or valued mm. in his lifetime that really he did not have a voice at the time and when she did cut him off and did not wasn't able to express himself that's when the trigger happened now he's grown now he can do something about those triggers well he ain't doing nothing about him because all well, right what i'm saying he yeah. can he can voice his opinion and then he can be uh detrimental and chaotic Right. And that's it, but but you know, being a child, what child, what children do, what they do, they keep it, they hold it in, right. and then they pull up their pillars. But as they grow, their pillars are you know dropped, and they can fight now. You understand what right. I'm saying? So right. it goes deeper than that. So when people act up, for me. I just sit back and I watch. When people act up, I don't like judge them. I wonder what has happened to them, you know, to make them act that way. Like people say, oh, you remind me of this person. The first thing I say, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Right. Well, San because... Sarah, what you got? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, Get you're fine. San Sarah, what you got, baby? San Sarah? San Syria. Go ahead, bro. It's just amazing me is how them two other men was up there advocating for that badass behavior. That shit was crazy to me. Yep. Bro, they gotta understand what Corey is. That's because they just like him. Every time you look around, Corey is in some kind of woman's mess. True story. Yeah. That ain't what men do. We don't do that. Cause see, I be I'm kinda like Blaze. I got four sisters and I have one child and she's a dog. So yeah, hey, yeah, I'm bucket. Hey man, you need to watch your mouth. I'm in the comments. Corey, you did that wrong, man. Right, you, you and everyone and that dude L just sitting at the well, they trigger. I don't care nothing about no trigger, man. You you won't threaten no female. What do you do that at? Right. I'm trying. They they do it a lot oh, on his did. ass. I it's, promise you. I promise you, he would have brought that shit down here to Joe. 
that he didn't see the felt it. But you have to understand too, we have a, well, it's a saying that a liar can identify another liar, an alcoholic can identify another alcoholic. There you go, Miss Van. I just so said that. With, with that being said, and you also can, I can say this, working in the developmentally de delayed, uh, somehow they will find each other and they will bond because of the brokenness and so who is the bro is you feeling like tea time broken too i i'm not saying all i'm <laughs> saying is people find people that are just like them it's like being a magnet so my thing is is that how the men came up to talk and help and identify and make a correction of what he was doing is because they identify with what he does. Mm. Does Any man sense? I saw that came up there that corrected him was Kev. Yes. Kev was the only one that came up there trying to do the right fucking thing that I saw. Yeah. I, all the men. I agree with that part. Yeah, he was the only one. All oh, them man, please. But so, the, so the argument started with Sunset and Corey, and then somebody just called Kev to come over. Is that how it went down? Well, I was in Kev Live, and somebody told him in the comment section to go over to T's Live. So I switched on T Live, and the first thing I heard is, I'll slap this out of you. I'll come to your town and slap out of you. That's what I heard. Right? So Kev went in there and said, You a ass nigga, because that's Kev's mod. So that's, that's why he, he ran in there and stick up for it. And then the other two men are gonna come in there and try to downplay this woman and what she did, more focus on what she did. I don't care what she did at the end of the day. Because first of all, we're on the app. It ain't like she going to physically try to hurt you in the first place, but he brought the physicality to her. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't care what a woman is saying to you. I know y'all men like to get out here and be so y'all triggered and y'all ain't gonna take no disrespect from nobody, blah, 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 blah. That still don't equal violence against a woman. Right. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I don't care what she said to you, what she did to you. I mean, I didn't have women talk about my children on this app. I ain't never threatened violence against them. You know what I mean? Uh, blame. You that's that real sucking shit right now. I, I'm just gonna call it what it is. That's I know I wasn't raised like that, broski. I so know I, I was. I'm, I'm the same motherfucking way. You know what I mean? I know my you dad know. will whoop my ass if he hear I'm me threatening a woman. Radio by, especially not disrespecting no woman. Because I came from one. Exactly. They don't play that. We all did. But nine times out of ten. I'm, I'm just going to say this nine times out of 10. Most of the issues come from the mom. Yeah, I was thinking that. And they don't have um, any closure. And that's not an excuse. I think when a child becomes 11, 12, they know the difference between right and wrong. And then they can pick and choose what they want to do as a man you know i can say i had a friend who had four sons and one daughter and she had different baby daddies for all and her son caught her doing the business and called her a hoe he called her yes he was 14 years old and called her a hoe and she called me and she said, what should I do? I said, what do you mean? What happened? And she told me, and I said, one thing you don't do, you don't take your personal gang. You go 10 cities over and go do your business and then come to home. You never do it in the house, but you need to talk to your sons because when you talk to them, you can change what their perception is. For little boys, they think their mom is Mother Teresa. Right. You know. You know I would say you, that to this. A lot yes, of these men that put their hands on women d did not have a father in their home. True. True, true, true. And I feel as though that's why I promote the, the black home. Yes. Y'all fathers need to be here for y'all sons. 
and teach them that this type of shit is not okay. Yes. yes. I agree. I agree. And it's just, you know, you plant the seed and then you go water somebody else's seed and then you plant the seed and all it's doing is domino affecting to that. But I, I think that men in general just need to open their eyes and women need to also open their eyes. If he can't give the money, if he can pick them up from school and help with the homework, that's being a father. You're being there. You know, um, I was married, married young. Um, I divorced him because of other things that happened. And I told him I didn't ask for money. I didn't want the child support. I didn't want nothing. I just wanted him to be a father. And he would always, he went and had kids with someone else. And mm. I told him, I said, just be a father. And, you know, I used to, when birthdays come, I'll put his name on the gift and do whatever and pretend it was him. And my daughter said, mom, I know it's you. And I said, no, no, it's your dad. And she told me to stop lying. So I told her the truth. However, wow. I gave time after time, time after time, time after time. I flew him out. I did everything. I still gave. I didn't ask for child support. I worked it on my own and did for my own. And he ended up dying at 48. Um, and at the end of the day, he made right before he died. With that being said, everybody has enough time and time is not given to no one if you don't do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And for the men and the women, be very cautious in who you sleep with. Try to figure out all the things you need to find out before you have because you never know. You might get somebody that's like the man that was just cussing and hollering and screaming. Just got to be careful. Just got to be careful. Yeah, we got to, we have got to, I, I, like I said, I think Corey been triggered something. I mean, I think Corey has been, got some mama issues because. I can't say that though, because my mama had me when she was 14. Me and my mama, we grew up together. That's right. I seen my mama, my mama been always been my biggest hero. I didn't get, I really didn't have a dad until I was about 15 when she married my um, sister's father. Well, my sister's day dad, he married my mom. And then I was at the age then when he said, well, I want to adopt you. Oh. So I got adopted and my dad was, well, he ain't, well, he's my adopted dad, but he's my dad. That's my that pop. And so he taught me what it was to be a man, but most of everything else about being a man, I learned from my mom. I got my work ethic. I got my I got my morals, my integrity, all that. I got that from my mom. So I I just can't I just can't go by that. I can't go by that. I can't go by that by night. Oh my! Well, I will. I will say this. <clears throat> I'm not going to speak to where where his uh issues come in, because I really don't know that dude. I will say this: it's clear that he got issues. Right. That yeah. is the clearest part right there. Yes. And he yes, need to God. he need to go seek some counseling about that shit, because you are way too aggressive towards women for no fucking reason. Mm -hmm. I hate that because, like I said, me and Corey really never had. Only time we had that was on T on um Diamonds Live. Thank you, no bills. Um, on Diamonds Live about what he did to Mariah again. Me and Mariah had just had some words, but that's the girl in me. I was like, what the hell? When I saw the footage, I was like, in the morning. I'm gonna wake up, I'm going on Diamond Show because I know he's gonna be on there. And I'm gonna catch his ass, I'm gonna corner him. And that's what I did. I said, Diamond, I'm sorry to disrupt your trouble, Corey. What the fuck was you thinking? Calling that girl out her name. And we blew it up. And Diamond was like, Corey, uh, Corey, I can't let you, you know, call 
You know what I'm saying? The B word. And she dropped him out the box. Good for Diamond. But again, you'll, you you can drop him out the box all you want, but you keep letting him back. But at least you're doing that. Hell, yeah. too. I, 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 yeah. Shout but out to Diamond for that. It's a MO. It's but y'all keep letting these people come back, and that's why they keep repeating mm -hmm. they repeat offenders. Because it's a MO. It's a MO. It's a pattern. This is r redundant in how he moves. And once you learn that, you can say, I'm sorry. A sorry is an action that will never happen again, and you learn from it. However, when you say I'm sorry and keep doing the same thing over again, it's a pattern, it's an MO, it's part of their DNA, it's their personality. Right. And when you don't have being accountable and acknowledging, you can be accountable and acknowledge, hey, I was wrong, and you shouldn't be told that you were wrong. Right. You should know when you're wrong. Mm -hmm. However, being accountable is an action of remorse, integrity, and some type of humility. But to do it consistently, you might have it for one day, and then five days later, you say it again, and you do it again. It be, it's a pattern. What does that sound like, uh, Kiona? Slim. Slim. <laughs> Slim. It, it's a, it's a Slim. MO. It's an MO, and when you have a person that has an MO, you can predict when it's about to happen. It's just like um, I can say my leg. I broke my leg when I was younger, and as I broke my leg when I was younger, when the weather gets where it's going, I can know when it's raining. Yeah. So, yeah, therefore, it's a now it's I got to a point where if you a female in that room and you in Corey, you already know it's, he gonna take it there. He's not gonna say, "Well, this is female." And and Corey, gonna, Corey is gonna that. hit you with that B I T C H so fast. But we know where his levels are. So when you go, when you can go and hit below the belt before it even starts, that lets you know it's not a trigger. It's who the person is they're gonna protect themselves and that's when that pillar comes up and when that pillar comes up they're gonna go and strike as any way that they can and that's chaotic behavior so are, are we saying that she triggered him or are we saying that was just who he was it was gonna happen regardless no, if you look at it, she when she talked and she did not, and he said it for himself that she did not let me finish. She interrupted me. Yep, interrupt, yeah, which again, that's that aggressive female, you know. I get, I get it. But again, but it, all right, if you're still, a male, we the, know women will tend to interrupt you. Get over it. That's, that that shouldn't trigger you enough to threaten the, the put no, your hands on her. Not, no, no, definitely not to threaten her life, but maybe that they exchanged was going to start being aggressive. He was going to meet her aggression with his aggression or her okay. disrespect with his disrespect because so, it is disrespectful to cut people off. And and again, some men, you know, feel like, oh, well, who the hell? And women too, you know what I'm saying? Like, who the hell are you? To, you know, why you cut me off? Like, I'm, a, I'm someone, my, my voice is valid too. Why you keep cutting me off? I so, understand that, but I, I don't mean to cut you off and I apologize. Uh, Here's the thing though. You can go to the courts and the judge cuts you off. You can be with the police and they cut you off. You can be with your superiors or your educators, they cut you off. So at the end okay. of the day, do, do you feel he feels school? inferior? I'm sorry to cut you off. Do you feel no. do y'all feel he feels Absolutely. inferior? Okay. I was Absolutely. I, I think a yes for that because it might have whoever it might have triggered them off you right. you have to you know we get triggered um throughout the day you know if you can just i challenge you guys to honestly throughout the day when you're out and about look at people see how the, you can see their gestures their facial expressions they're angry they get pissed off they're upset they have triggers. And okay, I got a question. Yes, ma'am. 
Does he not call because Shaded says he does it to every woman except for T. She, he don't threaten or call T the B word. Do you feel this because he respects T or is it because T coddles him? Let's not forget I about Diamond. That, he won't do that to Diamond. I, no, I he, think, don't. he don't do it to I, Diamond either. I think what it is is people pick and choose. It's just, okay, so I'll give this in, this example. You can have, like, I, me and my friends back in the day, we went out when we would go out as a pack and I was the most confident out of all my friends. I would walk with my head up high, shoulders back, do my own thing. Most men will not come and approach me, but they will take the weakest link. Yeah. And a lot of women I, don't realize they married this day because her homegirl was cuter. <laughs> Let me that tell part. you something that y'all may not know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all do know this, but most of these men with fragile ass egos do not like rejection. No, no. they don't. You're they they don't. cannot deal with rejection. <laughs> they can't. And at the end of the day, you know, I, I look and, and I, you know, I don't say anything. I hold my own. And one guy told me, he says, you know, I, I need to get my shit together before I approach you because you look like a person that has your shit together. And he, and I said, is that a compliment? He said, hell yeah, it's a compliment. So the thing is people pick and choose what and who that they're, if they're you the weaker source, they'll they rather take the weaker source because of the simple fact if you're a strong woman, right. you're not going to put up or tolerate that type of behavior. And they okay, can't that makes it. sense for Shady says he don't do it to T and Diamond. Thank you, Mariah. He don't do it to T or Diamond because they give him a platform. And he yes. don't want the platform to take away. But I have never seen Corey, by the way. I've just heard in many of the arguments he's gotten into in the room. I've heard people describe that he's cross-eyed. I've heard him say he's overweight. I've seen him. What Corey look like? Corey looks like he's about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, with a beard, a little scruffy beard. Uh, like he wears a do-rag. He dresses like a truck driver because he is a truck driver. And it doesn't look like he can handle rejection well. Uh, he's been, you can tell he's been rejected. He's a short, his life. stumpy guy. He's a short, stumpy guy with mm -hmm. cross eyes. You can tell he 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 don't really um, he don't really have the 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 skills to talk to women. So that's why he think this is okay and this is the way to get the women and talk to them. I I like I said. Well, you I can tell he he don't handle attributes. rejection very well. I brought up his physical attributes because again, on in person, right? Um, when when a female says, get you know, get the F away from me, da 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 da, you you kind of like, wow, she rejected me, she cussed me out. But on this app, he might be taking out on women the stuff that he can't say in person to women. Do y'all think that? Yeah, because yeah, maybe I can his agree. attributes get him turned down a lot. I agree. And, I agree. Yeah, I know one thing. Yeah, T brought this up in her yeah, life. If y'all, if y'all men so work, why y'all be so? I don't understand why y'all get so triggered by a woman calling y'all sassy. If you ain't none of that, why does it make? Why does it trigger you? Right. And T I don't up. know if y'all like, heard this. I don't think this. you should be able to do that either. And I'm like, I don't know if, if y'all ever heard this, but it's not what you are called. It's what, what you answer, answer to. Yeah. That's true. And what you feel of yourself, you know, I, I, I look at it this way, rejection, whatever, everybody is going to be rejected, regardless, if it's a job, it's a dating, if it's credit, if it's a house, if it's a, a car, whatever, we get rejected every day. At the end of the day, just acknowledge it, it might not be your time or your season. And at the end of the day, everybody is for every someone and whatever is somebody's trash is somebody's treasure. And it's how you feel about yourself at the end part. They can call me and they have, and I have been called whatever, whatever. At the end of the day, you can keep talking about me. God gonna keep blessing me in your face. And that's the way I look at it. And that's the way you have to perceive it. I know one thing, 
you going to definitely put whatever energy you putting out, like especially men towards women, you're going to get that energy back. All right. If you talk to women like that, you're not going to get a lot of women, especially mm-hmm. the women that you really want. Yeah, um, RSVP, that's honestly why we are having this live because, again, the banter between women and men on this app is nothing new. But when men make physical threats, then we like, we got a problem. Huge you know? problem. Because, uh, again, I don't even like Mariah. And the fact that he was jumping into a woman's conversation because, again, it had nothing to do with him. Mm. And he was so easy to call this woman to be where again, I don't ever really see Mariah cuss, but I know she can get under people's skin. But threatening her and threatening her life is out of pocket. That's how you know she got a skill set because she don't one, she be whispering, and two, she don't cuss. So she don't raise her voice and come off aggressive, but she can damn sure get under people's skin. But this but the thing about it is. It's too easy to get under his skin. Like, yeah. basically, she wasn't even talking to this dude. It wasn't his concern. But he Which inserted is... himself into yes. a woman's argument. Always. To um, make his self Where niggas do that known. shit at? He and then that threaten her as if she did something wrong. You inserted yourself into her conversation, then you threaten her. Where, mm. where, 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 what real man do some shit like that? No. I ain't None, but people who don't have a business or a life of their own and they don't own their own. I, I look at when people, because I have a person at work that does the same thing, that inserts themselves. And then I said, I don't need your commentary. And I try, and this is an analogy that I use, is I feel the wind sometimes only when it's like, the wind is like going really fast. I can feel the wind, but I don't see the wind. I can also understand the wind, but I don't acknowledge it. And that sometimes I think when you don't, that will get under a person's skin. And one thing I learned is my manipulation to make a, a person feel worse than. Does right. that make sense? Right. I mean, I feel he's going to do it again. I feel. Um, I guarantee you he do it again. Yeah. And, it, and again, that's that's her platform. It's her. It's, she's the captain he's of her. He's getting fed. He's getting fed. You're definitely right about that. She is the leader of her platform. But what goes on on her platform is a reflection of her. It's a, ref- yeah. it's, it's a reflection of her. And she, she understands that. She may not want to, you know, acknowledge it. And just push yeah. it off. Well, this goes on my. This goes on. This is what happens on my platform. People come back. No, that don't make it okay. T. You don't mm-hmm. sit there and let a woman be literally threatened with violence and just sit there and say, "Well, I had a cop with him before. I told him that that shit is wrong." But you let him up there to do it again to a different woman. That's yeah. a reflection of you. I'm almost willing to bet you this conversation here is going to take over the child bar good old time them thing I'm, i promise you it is and again i i swear some of this stuff don't need to be overlooked because again a lot of the shit that's going on uh, because I'm, you I'm think not about it. you got hoover over there threatening drop you got nosy getting threatened by somebody it, you know what i mean we don't know if it was whom, hoover or if it was i know who it was like you i know saw when it i line. said it's all facts but they want it to be look like it's chief tamary um and now we got sunset being threatened by Kari. So it's one of those situations where like did they wake I, up I, mad today? What the fuck yeah, are y'all three, on today? Why what, what, yeah, the, three women the energy coming from? Yeah, three women got threatened by men in one day. This finna this finna be like the new topic for the world. And again, this is something I've been stating for years that the women, black women on this app are the least protected, the most disrespected. In America, not just on this app in America. Yes, this app just puts a magnifying glass on it. You see it in real time. Okay, you see, I mentioned that even if I don't, even if I despise you as a woman, if I see you being treated wrong by a man, 
Now, you, a woman, you're going to have to have me on because I don't like you anyway, girl. But a man, I'm going to put my differences aside real quick and we go molly whop his butt or get him off of you. But let me ask this, man. Do, do y'all feel the need to protect us? Because we always felt the need to protect y'all. I'm going to let Broski go ahead and answer that because I know he's going to give the same answer I am. Absolutely. It's uh, that's our job. That's what we that's pretty much what we are. I don't know how you're not a man without the, the doing that. You know what I mean? Because I used to we, argue over there and lowers them live and you know, and, and they be like, Y'all women don't take up for us. And I'm like, that is the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. I matter of fact, uh was it this what morning, they say the what they call that y'all call that sassy, sassy behavior, right? You worried about a woman needing to, you should be protecting her, period. But I I'm so sick that. of this male chauvinistic bullshit on this ad, bro, with these people. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Karen. No, no, no. You're good. Um, I was looking at, um, this morning I was looking at, I don't know if y'all seen the movie Boycott, the about the 1955 uh, Montgomery Boycott with Dr. Martin Luther King. It was, yes. on, it was on HBO. Good, real good movie, right? And um, they was having their meeting, you know, the SNCC, uh, SNA, SNCC meeting about who was going, you know, how they were going to set the boycott up. And this man, E.D., who was a real person out of Alabama, um, he got up and he said, "We y'all men have always been behind these women's uh, skirt tails. And, and it's time for y'all to come out and protect them sometime, you know. So I, I thought about uh, lower them and I said, why won't they admit what me you know men from other generations been that men that we were the one doing slavery times you know what i'm saying it was protecting y'all we were the one doing the civil rights time we're the one when doing the mark uh what's his name that got beat up over there in, in california um rodney, rodney king rodney. we were the one and we're still the ones that feel an obligation I don't know about, like I said, I, I'm not, I'm not your average female, like Blaze is not your average male, but I have one brother. My, my son is the only boy. I'm, my brother is the only boy. My uncle was the only boy. So that's kind of a trip, a trend in my family. And, but we were all taught protect. I taught my, my daughter, cause I got one to special needs, of course, but I taught my, look, protect your brother. You know what I'm saying? We were, my brother's 14 years older than me. Look, but can I say I, something for you real we quick? We were talking. Yeah, <laughs> Protect so, I just want to let you know, all right, and all the women, this is nothing new. That's nothing new. The women have been leading for a long motherfucking time. Okay? Let's be real. I think the thing is, is because of the woman, the black woman, had to hold it down for so long, I think it's some type of um Regret, a person they feel, regret or resentment yeah no resentment because they hold it down you you have a lot of men who don't have don't know who they, they are fall short That's what and they, do. they fall short and they have identity crisis because i I'm, I'm gonna give you two examples and you ask should we protect it was three days ago i went off work and I went to the market. They took us to the market. So we went to the market and I see this man pulling on this lady, like janked her, yanked her. She fell to the ground. I threw my stuff down and my coworker pulled me back. And I said, if he do it again, he gonna be on that floor. And I guess I talked too loud. He looked at me and smiled and said, it's okay. It's okay. And I said, it's not okay. You need to get your damn hands off of her or I'm going to put my hands on you. Period. Mm -hmm. And then the other man, now this was an African-American woman with a white T man. But okay, no, that's not color. I'm still going to no, 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 But I'm saying then the white T men help me. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Everybody, oh, the difference, yeah. Yeah, everybody helped to protect the woman. And 
But I know cultures are like that. Like in the Spanish community, yes, children and women, oh, yes. they will beat your ass about yes. them. Yes, white they men, will. they will yes. beat your ass about the white woman. I just ain't never got. Why is it that black men be like? Well, I don't know how you answer that for you, you a little bit. You have some. I'm gonna be because honest. It's the, not the system all... has been set up to, to yes. separate the black home. They don't yes. want black people together. So that's the system doing exactly what it was designed to. Or, that's why a lot of these black men out here don't want to protect these black women because they've mm -hmm. assimilated into this system so bad. Whereas though, again, they don't want the black home together. So they make us hate each other. Yes. Like we just got through talking about that uh, yesterday and today is the system. And when people and, and, and whoever is in this live, I hope that you would take something away of what I'm saying. We are the most hated people. We right. are the most last people. At the end of the day, they're spending billions of dollars to look like us. They're getting our hair, they're getting our, our nose, our butts, everything. At the end of the day, don't you see our DNA is the most enriched and important thing on this planet? But let me say this. That's why they try to keep us at the bottom. But That's let me, what let me I'm saying. I don't care what nobody says to you. It, it People, you teach people how to treat you, right? That's what Dr. Phil saying. And um, a lot of people have, and that's why we get we catch a lot of flack. Because there are a lot of people that came to this country, you know, we came forced. A lot of them jumped on boats voluntarily and brought their asses here. We were forced to come here. But at the end of the day, everybody who came to this country with zero from the bottom, they don't respect us. You know why? Because we don't have an allegiance to each other. We don't respect our ancestors. We 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 sit up and call of all people, we call Harriet Tubman an ugly bee and ugly this and ugly. We should never talk about we should actually call her mother. We should all I always say, God bless Mother Mother uh Tubman or Mother Harriet. You know what I'm saying? Because that lady deserved my respect. Do you see the Jews playing like that? Yeah, no. you know, well, let's be real here. Let's be real. Anne Frank, a lot of these and she was black... just a little girl who's in the attic. You ain't finna let. They not finna let you play with Anne Frank in they face. Because no, a lot of us don't Mother move Harry. into our history, Kiana. A lot but, of these but, black people do not know where they came from. They don't. The struggles they 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 ancestors went through. They don't, and some of them really don't care. But again, like I said, is. It's the system, it's the subliminal messages within the system, and the commercials, the the radio, everything. It starts with us. I, I, you know, I'm 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 not one of those. The white man got his his um, foot on my neck type of girls. I, no, I I'm I, not like I that them. either. I, I work I hate that because that gives. Oh, no, we're not going to sit here and blame everything on the white man. No, no, man some of this stuff not, is I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. It's our own fault no, as no. well. So everybody does play a part. The what's what's is, stopping us from having a? What's stopping us from staying right. legacy? What's stopping us what, from saying the see, black race? Is a royal, a, a royal priesthood like what the Bible says about us? What's yes. stopping us from saying, "Ah, oh, nah, you, should, uh, Mother Shadrona Truth, uh, uh, Doctor Martin Luther King, Mother Harry, all these people, you gets no passes." True. Uh, uh, Malcolm X, you get no, you disrespect them. We coming to see you. You okay. can't. Your business get canceled. Your this, your that. We shutting you down. What's so hard about us being together and saying stuff like that? Because everybody is so quick to not, they want to give in. They have no dialogue or myologue in, I have a saying, good men stand up, but they do nothing. Good women stand up, but they do nothing. The thing is, like on my platform, I teach people how to buy land. 
how to buy your air rights, how to buy your mineral rights, and how to own. I teach you how to open up a business and own your trademark and how to get corporate credit, how to do certain things. One thing, I used to work for the state of California. Now, I teach whatever they teach me and whatever I learned, I go back to my community right. and try to help my community. And I learned how to expunge your record. I learned how to clean up the credit. I learned how to do so much. And you go to these seminars and you paying two and three thousand dollars and you leaving with two sheets of paper and still yeah. have to spend Don't know money. What you're doing yet. Don't know and what I'm you're sitting doing. up here giving you a big old book and I'm walking you through. And the first thing my people say, oh, uh, can you give me a break? Or, or no, they come to you with a jacked up, okay, uh, bro code, thank you for coming through, or come to you with a jacked up background check, but worry, but worried that you're going to do some of the information. It's like, what the hell are you going to do with it? Yeah, you, know, I, 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 you know, it's so crazy to me because some of you know, like I said, with me being in mortgages, I, a white person, some, you know, may call me and be like, hey, I'm, I want to get a refile, da, da, da. I'm like, okay. And may I have your social, may I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. A black and, and you pull the credit, it's like seven ninety credit score. They got, yes. you know, they've been on their job. They've already sent me their bank statements, da da da. Black person got a four ninety, you know what I'm saying? They on the fourth job in the last year and a half. They you know what I'm saying? They they yes. got all these problems and they sit up there like, Well, I don't want to give out my social. Um, can I is there another way I can you know, I just, I'm, you know, I'd be scared. Somebody, what the fuck somebody going to, thank you, darling. What the fuck is somebody going to do with your 490 school? You can't do yeah. that with it, so I can't do that with it either. But the thing is, he's so, is he's so messed up on the people. Yes, and they want it for free. Um, and it, the thing is, is I went to the other nationalities, and they don't mind paying me, you know, and I try to give... Yeah. my people information because they say, well, how did you get this? How did you do this? I'm an open book. I'll tell you. I don't gatekeep. Now that's the, it, whatever. I, 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 I'm a believer in each one to each one. Yes. And at the end of the day, it's just like, are you serious? So I think, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with our community, but I'm trying. And the best that I can do, I can't keep, I'll keep trying. And whoever catch it, my grandmother used to always say, you can lead the horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. So I, and that's where I leave it at. But I am grateful and I'm thankful. The, the life, you know, and I try to tell people too, you know, your life is your life and things happen for reasons so we can be able to pass the keys to someone else to pass the test mm -hmm. that we have can i say something to miss pan when yes, you're being sir. when you're being selfless and doing selfless acts you never worry about if you're making a difference mm -hmm. never because you'll get in your own way with that understood understood i just try to help everybody because i look and reflect on my life and i say it was hard for me and i project i know it's hard for someone else so i try to help people and you know if they take it they take it if they don't i'm gonna keep praying for you and i'm gonna walk away yeah that's how you have to do i'm gonna hop off blaze you going i was just about to say the same thing i'm going yeah. to bed with wifey Amen. Yeah, you look nice. I like your hair. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you going live tomorrow? You know I am. I got some more shit to drop on Britney head. Britney who? Queen Lock. You ain't been on my page? I've been going viral for like the last five days with this nonsense. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, make sure you inbox me or text me and get it to go live. Got you. Uh, right, thank you for having me on nice your panel you and day. nice meeting everyone. Thank and I you. followed everyone. Have a blessed night. You too. I'm going to follow you back. Thank you. Thank you.